So I uh, got a tattoo in the bottom of my foot. When people asked me to see it, I kicked them in the face. <laughs> it reads, think fast. <laughs> so I've been pretty upset at the commercials on television these days, especially the candy commercials, especially the M&M's candy commercial. Have you seen the M&M's candy commercial where the M&M's are hanging out with that guy, they're partying, having a great time, laughing it up. So I go down to a store, buy a bag of M&M's, open up the bag and they're all dead. <laughs> and their arms and legs are missing. I can tell what M&M stands for, mass murder of candy. <laughs> so my uh, car's been acting up, eh? It's got sparks and stuff flying out of the engine and the brakes are making a screeching, crunching sound. So what do I do? I wash and wax the car. Cause I can't fix the car. All I can do is give the car confidence. Don't worry, car, you're a sexy, sexy car. <laughs> you look like you drive beautifully. <laughs> one day, mommy, I'm gonna make a syrup and no one will ever cough again. Oh, Buckley. Sometimes I'll walk into Kentucky Fried Chicken and say, yeah, could I just have a bucket of skin? <laughs> Thank you, everybody else, except Section C. So, uh, my uh, fridge light burnt out, and I know what it feels like when blind people are hungry. <laughs> Can't be mayonnaise, it's sloshing, it's gotta be pickles. <laughs> I love food, folks, I love eating. I, like every I think everyone should eat whatever the hell they want. Stop worrying about your weight, just eat and be happy. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Everyone's trying to eat right. Everyone's eating nutri-grain chicken, chicken that eats fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Everyone's eating free-range chicken, chicken that thinks it's free. <laughs> I want to eat chicken that eats chicken. I want cannibal chicken. It would have twice the chickeny flavor. It'd be succulent. <laughs> People go, oh, no, no, that's how mad cow does he start. Have you had a mad cow burger? It's delicious. <laughs> I get the shakes and stuff like that. Put gravy on it. Gravy kills everything. <laughs> I like to eat so much I completely bloat it because when I'm bloated, it always feels like someone's hugging me. <laughs> Who needs love when you got buffets? That's what I say. <laughs> and those are my people. They've been doing a lot of genetically altering of food, a lot of genetically altering of food. You don't have to wait for scientists to do this. I've been doing my own genetically altering of food at home. And those little round tomatoes, I cut it in half and squeeze it. It looks like a Pac-Man throwing up. Have you tried that? <laughs> Maybe that's more like playing with your food, but it starts somewhere, right? I don't know what genetically altering food is, but it's gotta be chicken cordon bleu. That's chicken with ham in it. How they train that chicken to kill a pig and eat it, I don't know. Do you ever visit people you don't really like just to get rid of the lint in your pocket? <laughs> Do you ever notice that a cappuccino espresso machine sounds a lot like a monster drowning? <laughs> cappuccino? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Do you like chocolate or cinnamon on that? <laughs> Doesn't matter, whatever it was is dead now and the village can live peacefully again. <laughs> well, I had 
fun. Uh, I'm looking to have fun, folks. I had fun. Uh, I'm looking to have fun this uh, summertime. You know, I thought about something. I'm sure a lot of the Canadians have thought about this as well. Is when the winter time comes to Canada, our Canadian geese fly down south because it's warm down there. And then when the summertime comes back here, they fly back here because it's warm again. Wouldn't one geese or goose catch on and go, hey, wait a minute, I think it's always warm down there. <laughs> Can't we just wait it out? Where are you going? I'm dead alone. Tell my idea to the front. <laughs> Tell my idea to the front. <laughs> I'd like to leave you with your own joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is a joke that I saw when I came the first time came to Halifax, and I, I've, I'm glad I get to share it with all of you here tonight. And it's a joke that I see when I come here and it makes me laugh and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. The sign used to be here a long time ago, but I didn't see it again anymore. There's two bridges that come here into Halifax. And the sign on the bridge that used to say, 75 cents toll. Now, if you didn't pay the 75 cents toll, the fine was $65.75. <laughs> $65, and I still want my 75 cents. Thanks, folks. Have a great show. It's a great show tonight. Take care.